Hello, so in this video let's discuss material properties and descriptions. So this is the concept uh, which is recommended uh, when you are working with materials. So uh, each manufacturer should describe it, his own materials and uh, all other materials which is in uh, construction elements like walls roofs uh, should be from other manufacturers and uh, the main manufacturer just put some guidance uh, what uh, in its uh, walls he's using let's say masonry blocks and that's all and uh, all the masonry block information should be in masonry manufacturer information when you have all these blocks the material library BIM product 3D 2D components, uh, detail 3D 2D components, connection 2D components, and BIM shadows. You can combine this uh, information and you can use it in your projects and you can save a lot of time preparing your projects. Let's talk about each part. So, BIM materials library. So, each uh, material in Revit application is uh, described in uh, five sections. So first you uh, put some identity data. You need to fill these uh, fields and describe what kind of uh, information is needed about materials. So manufacture, model, cost, uh, link to the product uh, uh, class of material description, comments, keywords, uh, keynotes and uh, and uh, marks so all this information should be filled uh, for uh, basic material description next part is graphical representation of material so you choose how it will look in cut pattern how it will look uh, outside uh, and what kind of color will represent material in simple uh, not rendered drawings Next part is appearance. So here you can select uh, rendering textures uh, and uh, uh, create uh, uh, some special r rendering materials which will be uh, visible in rendered version of uh, your project. Next part is uh, physical parameters. So they are important, uh, important uh, when you are calculating physical uh, building parameters, structural uh, and construction uh, loads and uh, other uh, physical analysis. So this part is important. And thermal information also is important when you are calculating thermal loads of your building, uh, insulations, uh, uh, heat transfer and other stuff. So all this information should be filled and uh, some add-ons programs use this information from Revit to calculate uh, and to analyze building. So in here you can see in more detail uh, how filled example looks like. So you can see all the fields are filled. Price is a discussion question because you can get uh, sometimes price with discount or in other shops other prices so uh, price you should leave empty and you should fill this uh, parameter when you are starting working with the project let's discuss about uh, 3d product uh, models so each product should have a representation in 3d so if i have brick units so sometimes it's uh, uh, nice to have uh, real brick uh, 3D models and you can use it and you can build from real bricks in virtual reality. Uh, simplified version uh, or uh, low level detail objects so you can have a brick wall which represents uh, bricks and it is made from just Revit wall uh, with all the descriptive information and it is not divided by separate blocks. Uh, now BIM 3D detail. So uh, if you have a construction of walls, uh, floors, uh, roofs, so you should also get all the layers of this construction with all the information. 
So the main manufacturer represents uh, in detail his own uh, product and all other products is uh, described using uh, standard materials uh, taken from ISO standard and, and just uh, uh, they represent basic information and you should take uh, detailed information from other manufacturers. Uh, 2D uh, product uh, components. So each uh, uh, component uh, or product should also have 2D object, 2D parametric object, which uh, uh, has geometry and has some descriptive information, which you can extract from 2D object. Uh, if we compare with AutoCAD, so AutoCAD has just lines and maybe blocks, but it doesn't have uh, in uh, inside a lot of information about product materials and other stuff. So your task is to create uh, 2D components, parametric components. You can change uh, uh, parameters. You can see material types and uh, all other stuff in 2D objects. Next, BIM details 2D. So here you combine these uh, uh, 2D details. So the main manufacturer details should be described in detail and all other manufacturer components can be described in less detail uh, with low information and you can uh, create uh, wall details, roof details using these 2D components and you can represent uh, all this information in, in 2D parametric drawings or you can put these details on top of uh, 3D cut out and uh, you can put additional uh, components which gives more clearance for your project drawings. BIM callouts to this, so these are connections. So in connections you also should use uh, uh, BIM parametric objects. A lot of manufacturers use uh, just uh, the take AutoCAD drawings, uh, the copy AutoCAD drawing inside Revit family and they say they created BIM, BIM uh, uh, 2D object or 2D drawing. So it is not uh, a right way to do it. Uh, each component should be a separate parametric object uh, like in real materials uh, and you can combine and join these objects separately uh, in each project. Here you can see example brick and this brick or mason unit has all its parameters, uh, information, links to manufacture and, and other stuff. Uh, if it's uh, just AutoCAD copy, you lose all this information. And BIM shadows, so you should create some basic shadows which represents model of the product uh, and depending on the uh, calculation concept, uh, some uh, materials calculated by area or by volume, uh, you can calculate if it's paint, so you can calculate can size, can quantity, uh, cost by uh, meter, uh, square meter, euros total price. Uh, you put some links to the uh, material and you can put barcodes uh, so you have a connection of your Revit materials to the real uh, shop materials which is presented in, in the shops. And here are some conclusions. Uh, so start BIM project from material library. Material library should be developed by manufacturers and distributors. The price of BIM objects should be implemented in real material price. Real material and products should be created in BIM environment. If I can buy real material, so I should be able to download the same material in BIM format. Field default program fields which describe material or product. After this, you can create additional fields. Create additional fields for material according to national BIM standards and manufacturer requirements. Create 2D BIM details and callouts using parametric BIM objects and not cut lines.